What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dean, aka The Blue Crusader, but this is the vlog channel and I haven't uploaded on this channel in a long time, but to kick things off again, we're gonna start doing a brand new video today. So if anyone's seen the channel before, if you're new, make sure to subscribe. But if you've seen the channel before, a few months ago, I actually made a trying a Turkish snacks video. So today we're gonna do it a little bit different. You may have seen I've done some travel videos when I went on holiday to Austria. So we're going to be doing some Austrian snack tasting in this video. So we're going to be trying some Austrian snacks instead of Turkish snacks. So what we're going to do is we're going to crack open the box. So as you can see, this box, the shipping, is kind of being damaged a little bit, I guess, in transit. So we don't actually need any scissors to open this thing. So I'm just going to open it straight up. And this is going to be interesting. Let's go check this out, because I've not had any kind of snack haul like this in a long time. So it's actually pretty exciting stuff. So obviously inside, we have all the typical shipping stuff, which hopefully nothing's damaged. I've got high hopes. So we're just going to throw that to the side. And if we just get a little bit closer, you can see the haul, what we actually have inside, which is going to be super exciting to check stuff out. The first thing we have, which is a drink called Alm Dudler. This is basically like an alpine herbal syrup drink and it's actually really sweet. They do have a sugar-free version, which in German is Zuckerfrei. They do have a sugar-free version, which I've tried as well, but this is really sweet. I've drank two liter bottles of this stuff when I was on holiday and there's a lot of sugar in it, but it tastes pretty nice. So that's the first thing we've got. We've got two bottles of that. The next thing which we have is this. This is called Pum up key. I've never heard of this before, so I may be butchering this name and pronouncing it wrong. So if you are German or Austrian, let me know in the comments. And it says Kizzelwasser. So this is some kind of flavoured water. And there's no sugar, because it says Ohne Zucker, which means no sugar, or Zubstoff. I'm not sure what that means. But basically, this is a sugar-free drink, and you can see the fruits below is basically like a mixed summer fruits drink, which I haven't tried, because I've tried quite a few of these stuff before, so that should be interesting. So that's another thing we've got. Then, if you go to Austria, one core thing that you have to get are Mozart chocolates. Now, usually, there's so many different brands of Mozart chocolates that it's hard to find the official main brand. Now, I'm not sure if this is actually the main, main brand. The main brand is actually called Mirabelle, which is from Salzburg, but... This is basically one of the Austrian brands. Okay, so this is, I believe, Mozart Kuglin. I'm not sure if I'm saying that wrong either. I don't think this is the normal Mirabelle brand, but I remember trying this one in Austria, and this is very nice as well. So this is one of the top two Mozart brands of Mozart chocolates in Austria, so I'm very happy with these. And you get 25 in these, and they're around 5.99, I believe, in euros. So we've got, I think, four bags of those. We've got all out of the Mozarts because they just taste so nice. Then what we've done is there's a company called Manor which have wafer biscuits in Austria. And I wanted to try, they've basically done a collaboration product with Mozart chocolates. And these are called Mozart Würfel. And they're basically chocolate marzipan nugget filled chocolates, which is what basically a Mozart chocolate is. But it's partnered with Manor who do wafer biscuits. So they're basically called Mozart cubes, which are cube chocolate versions filled with marzipans. They should get on a tree. They're basically just instead of round orb chocolates, they're basically cubes. So they'll be super nice. But that's basically the end of the selection other than the crisp, which have seemingly been pierced in transit it seems because the bag's not very good quality so I'm not sure if we're going to try those crisps because they may uh, not be so good especially with the current situation in the world <laughs> so these are Riffles Paprika Crisps these were €1.70 or £1.70 so I don't think it's probably going to be that much of a loss not to try them so I think we will skip those for this video but these are Kelly's Chris. You can probably find these in other parts of the world. And it says, obviously, Osterreich on the, the packet. But we're going to leave those and put those to the side today because even though I think, I, I think I may have even just punctured those now myself, but I can't really be sure. So we'll have to uh, have that discussion off camera. Let's get to trying a few of the snacks. Okay, so the first one is obviously Alm Dudler. So I haven't drank this in a few months. It's been two months since I went to Vienna and I got multivitamin juice, which is very popular, and also Alm Dudler in Vienna. So hopefully it's fizzy. That's a good sign. You could hear some air leaking just there. So we are gonna try this. This hasn't been broken into. There's no damage to this. So hopefully this should be fresh. 
It's not actually as sweet as I remember it. That might be because obviously it's been in transit and probably storage for a while, but it still tastes pretty fresh. It's basically like a syrup drink. And basically, let me just have a look at the sugar contents on here. So this has per 100 milliliters, this is 0 0.5 liters, that's 500 milliliters. This has 7.9 grams of sugar. So it's pretty bad for you in terms of sugar. But it tastes very nice, it's not too sweet, it's kind of like a herbal infused fizzy lemonade. So if you like lemonade with a little bit more sweetness and kind of like a herbal kick to it, but not like a herbal flower, it doesn't taste like that. But it's a very nice drink, I would recommend that. So that's probably one of the best drinks you can get from Austria, along with the vitamin juice. And then we shall try the second drink. Now obviously I'm not going to be having all these snacks because I will probably puke and be sick. So we're just going to try a little bit in this video. So next we're going to have the Pumoki Kizilvasa. Okay. So this is interesting, never seen this one before. This is the fruit punch drink. So hopefully this seal's intact as well. So as you can see, the seal's not being broken. That's a good thing. So let's just try this. There was a little bit of a fizz to it as well, so there may be some fizz to this. If I'm totally honest, this is a sugar-free drink, but I can't taste any sweetness to it. This just literally tastes like water. That just tastes like a really bad water. I'm not sure why. Ah, okay, that makes more sense. So there's no salt in it, there's no sugar in it, there's no carbohydrates, no fat, no kind of things on the label which would infuse it with any kind of flavour. So it's basically as boring as it gets. So this is just a natural aroma based water. So it's a bio based citrus juice with no sugar. So I would say that's probably the most boring drink. Usually I like sweet things and if I want to avoid sugar, maybe I'll get the sweetened version. That's pretty boring for me, I'll probably finish it just because I bought it, but not really the best if I'm honest. So that's the drinks out of the way. Alm Dudler, 4 out of 5. This drink, 1 out of 5, not the best in my opinion. Mozart Chocolates. This is probably one of the most popular treats. So let's, you'll have a nice golden seal on here, so it's going to break the seal and open up like that. It's quite satisfying to open these because they always have these kind of very grand bags. Then we can just open them. And you'll see there's 25 in here. So I'm not sure if you can see inside the package, but there's quite a lot. What I'm gonna do is show you. That's what the chocolate looks like. It's basically like a gold foil chocolate and it has a printed face of Mozart on it because obviously it's a Mozart chocolate Mozart's from Salzburg and that's where he was born. I believe he was born in Salzburg. I went through multiple Mozart museums So if my knowledge is bad, then I should have been reading more carefully when I was on holiday But Mozart's from Salzburg. So this is the Mozart chocolate. So this Mozart chocolate There's a nice golden foil to it, but no one cares about the foil So let me show you the chocolate. I just wanted to show you that this is a very patriotic chocolate because people in Austria are very proud of uh, Mozart so, it's just basically a covered chocolate. Mostly these are dark chocolate, this one is as well. And it's mostly just orb covered in dark chocolate. And if I can kind of break it open without eating it so it doesn't look too horrible, then you can see inside that there's marzipan in there with a chocolate ball in the center as well. So it's white marzipan with a chocolate ball in the center, which is hard. Now, I initially bought these thinking that they had the pistachio marzipan in. So it's a disappointment that we haven't received that but this is still tastes really nice. Now the great thing about these is they have milk chocolate in the middle and dark chocolate on the outside. So it's kind of like a blend between two different types of chocolate with the marzipan sweetness as well. But it almost feels like at the bottom of the chocolate, there's some kind of fudge or toffee below it as well. So that's super interesting because I can taste a little bit of toffee on the bottom of the chocolate maybe. So there's marzipan, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, possibly toffee. But I would give that one five out of five as well because that's a really good quality one. We actually have a comp comparison. So we have two Mozarts for comparison, okay? These are official and unofficial. So this is the official Austrian one, which is the one we've got today. And this one is from a brand called GAD Gross, which is part of Lidl. So at Lidl, they do promotional events at Christmas and they have foreign snacks. This one is from the Alpine Week, which is where they had Austrian snacks in Lidl. And this one is from Austria. So you can see the fake one or the foreign remake, which is imitating the real one, is nearly an extra half size. So it's a lot bigger. So you do actually get more in this, surprisingly, than the small ones. But you get only around 8 or 10 in these fake ones whereas you get 25 in the official ones. The fake Mozarts are £2.99 and you get around eight or 10 in them, I think eight. And 
The official ones are around six pounds or 5.99, five euros, 99 cents, and you get 25. So obviously the official ones are a better deal in my eyes and they taste much better. So you're paying for the quality and seemingly the quantity. So that's Mozart chocolates, huge plus from me. So let's move on to the last snack, which we have in this snack box. These are the Mozart cubes. Okay. Now, you're wondering who's on the camera, my mum is on the camera right now and she's enjoying the snacks in the background very silently while we film. I'm just going to crack open these chocolates. Now, there's probably some kind of seal here. The Manor shops in Vienna are very nice shops. They're these really big modernistic pink shops with all pink packaging and stuff. Very girly, so there's a lot of women that go in those shops. But they have some really nice chocolates in there and they have a lot of wafer biscuits and stuff. Personally, I haven't actually been in the Manor store. I think I might have drifted through them uh, in the malls. But as you can see, this is what it looks like. We have basically just a paper thin box. Not that great quality. And inside we have the Mozart cubes. So these are the Mozart cubes. They're not exactly the most extravagant packaging. They basically just look like a copy, but obviously it's like a special manner version of the Mozart chocolate. So when we open it, it has the very nice manner logo on the chocolate, which looks pretty cool. And this seems to be dark chocolate as well. So that's what the chocolate looks like. Should be pretty interesting to try. And we're gonna break it open and see what we can find inside. Now we can't break this in half. So I'm going to have to bite into it. And you can see the chocolate inside of these isn't a hard chocolate like the normal Mozart chocolates, but it is still a milk chocolate. But it's like a fluffy truffle chocolate inside. So it's a lot different than a normal Mozart chocolate. But the top is actually a marzipan filling still. So it's completely different. It's night and day. It's a lot different to a normal Mozart. But these are really nice. I like the truffle chocolate inside. So I would have to give that another 5 out of 5. Different to the Mozarts, I do prefer the original Mozart. But this is something different. And uh, probably for all the old ladies that go in manor, they'll probably enjoy this kind of posh dark chocolate. So I would give that a good rating. So that is the Austrian food and snack tasting video. I'm going to do some more videos like this, maybe with some more foreign food, and do some more vlog type videos, tutorials, and helpful content on this second channel. Now, if you do like gaming videos, make sure to subscribe to my main channel, which is the Blue Crusader. We're currently at 30,000, 32,000 subscribers. So if you like Minecraft videos, GTA 5, awesome content on there, Minecraft mods, things like that. So make sure to subscribe to this channel, and to that channel in the link below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And if I got anything wrong and you're from Austria or Germany, do correct me in the comments below. I do obviously like to learn things that I've done wrong, of course. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.